Hey, 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 everybody. Welcome back to Neverland Homestead. My name is Cammie, and welcome back to the homestead. Well, guys, the wind is blowing crazy outside, and it seems to be getting worse. So I decided to come into the shed, and I'm so thankful that Tim Waters sent me a light for my camera. So now, even though I got a light up there, it's still not enough light when you're trying to do a video. So, Tim, thank you so much for that light. I've used it in another video. I was videoing in my kitchen late at night, even though I got some, some awesome light in there. But this light it was helps me, and I was able to ang angle it into the position that I wanted to put it in. Today, guys, I want to show you a technique that's going to help you to dust your plants if need to be and not waste the product. This is an uh, example that my grandmother did, my mother did, I've done. I mean, when I was little, I remember seeing my grandmother do this. And back then, they had to be very conservative, especially her. She was a widow. Um, my grandfather passed away before I was born. And yes, he had a good job, but his retirement was only 400 some dollars a month. So she had never worked. Uh, she stayed home. And so she lived off of that retirement. So some of the things that she did to be conservative has stuck into my life. And this is one of the techniques. So one of the products I used this morning was the Damascus, if I'm saying it right, Earth. Now this is uh, for different types of insects. You can use it for cockroaches, ants, silverfish, beetles, and other crawling insects as listed. Now this product is good for inside and outside. Even though I didn't want to put anything on my plants, there's a point in time you have to call that shot. And with my potato plants into my raised bed, I went out there one day and I found a potato bug and I seen some eggs and I thought I got all the eggs but obviously I didn't so probably about maybe I don't know maybe two weeks later I go out there and I find potato bugs now they was only on one section of the side of the raised bed and I went out there picking them off and smashing them and looking up under the leaves and everything go back 15 minutes later and here's some more that crawled out go back 15 minutes later and some more crawled out so I said you know what I don't think I want to sit here and try to fight these I'm going to go and grab this product right here. As a matter of fact, my daughter was here, and she says, Mom, why don't you go uh, get some Damascus, Damascus, D-I-A-T-O-M-A-C-E-O-U-S, Earth. You know how it is when you try to say it to somebody else, you just can't say the product. But anyway, she says, why don't you put some of that on there? And so, anyways, I had some here that I bought last year, and so... Me and her and my granddaughter, we went out there and sprinkled it on there. So this morning I went out there to, you know, check on these plants because, you know, you need to check on your plants daily. But we just had a good rain come through, a lot of winds and cold, uh, cool temperatures, should I say. And I went out there and I seen one potato bug. If you see one potato bug, you probably got more. So once again, I went and got this product, but I want to show you a technique that will save you on wasting your products. Whether it's seven dyes, if you use seven dyes, or this right here, if I could use it inside and outside, I think it would be okay to use on my plants. So you can take a cup, this is a pantyhose, right? So what you're gonna do, you just get an old pantyhose. So I went and grabbed one out of the closet. Uh, I don't usually wear them as much as I used to, but I did save some just in case. So this is one of those just in case, not what I thought. So you're just going to take and cut the pantyhose and uh, you cut it to the length that you want, a length that's going to be easy for you to get your product in there. And you could take a cup and try to you know, spread this pantyhose and pour it in there. Or you can take a certain type of funnel. This is my canning funnel, one of my canning funnels. This product is going to be used for this, but so if you're having problems with your hands or you know your arms or whatever, and it's really hard for you to kind of hold, um, just put it on the end of the hose, uh, end of the hose, end of the funnel. 
put your hand around the end of the funnel and then take your product which I'm using this DE product here for insects killing I'm gonna reach down in there you got your hand on there you got a good grip onto it you know you're not mashing hard because this is like a little rubber funnel and you're just gonna pour it in there and shake it shake it down And see, in this, in this hose, talking about my pantyhose here, I don't have it long. So I'm going to try to shake down as much as I can. But if you've noticed, you, if you look closely, if it's showing, you can, see, you can see that it's being sprinkled out. And that's what I want. I don't want to take my product and just kind of throw too much on to the bush, onto the plant, and waste it. Or go on the ground. This helps you to be able to manage better where your DE is going to. Your your whether it's like I said, seven dust or whatever you may use. So then we're just going to take it like this, and you're going to hold it from the top, and you're going to and I'm going to show you. You're going to sprinkle it onto the top. So let's go to the garden. So as you can see, the wind is really kicking it today. And this right here is where I did it by hand. But you see how it kind of it's got clumps. It looks like it's got none. And and uh, make sure. Okay, just want to make sure there ain't a bug there. So, and with this Damascus Earth, if I'm saying it right, uh, it's okay to take it by your hands. But, you know, I just noticed, like, you know, there's a big old clump there where I feel like it could go somewhere else. So what you're going to do is let me go down here. Now these potatoes right here, plants, have not um, had any uh, potato bugs. And so I decided to go ahead and sprinkle some on there. And then I thought, why am I wasting so much of my product? You know, and it's not getting everywhere like I wanted it to. So what you're going to do is that you're going to... You see how it's... It kind of puts it like a fine mist. Now the wind is blowing, so you definitely want to do this on to a day that the wind is, if you can. The wind is not blowing as hard. But it's kind of like it's sifting it. Let me see if I can get down here. Not so much in the wind. Now, because of the wind is blowing, some of it's going up in the air. And uh, so I'm definitely going to wait until the wind it calms down. But these don't have any potato bugs into it. I just want to make this quick video to show you that you can take this and look. And it really gets all over your plant. It gets kind of up underneath some of them. It's just not sitting on the top. But it gets where, and it pretty much covers, it gets where you want it, and it pretty much covers the plant a lot better than a bunch of clumps. So I hope this technique works for you. I definitely love it. Even though the wind is blowing right now, it's getting up under the stems, up under there where normally I would not be getting any, any uh, DE on the plants. The wind has calmed down a little bit. Let me see if I can do this. And it really does a wonderful job. There you go, guys. So I thank you so much for watching. 